What does success mean to you? This question will present a lot of different answers from everyone because we all have different goals and ambitions. Hence, it is whatever we want and trying to reach that determines how to define success. To some people, it is when we get a particular sum of money in their account that they believe they are successful. For some, it is when they get married and raise their own family that they accept that they are truly successful. Here's the thing. Maybe we all want different things in life, but it doesn't change what success is to everyone. Success has just one definition that should always count, no matter what our goals and ambitions are. When our lives, work, career, or whatever else we want goes by this definition, then we can say that we are truly successful. So, in this video, I'll share with you the only definition of success that matters. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other exciting videos like this. What is success? First, what success isn't. Maybe we should start by explaining what success isn't before we talk about what it is because so many people have the wrong interpretation of success. Several people define success as building wealth, having the perfect relationship, launching a billion-dollar business, or amassing a large social media following. And a lot of times, they attach famous people to their image of success. Well, while this might not necessarily be wrong, getting all these or being like this doesn't necessarily make you successful because there are people who had fought and struggled to the top only to feel miserable and burnt out when they got there. They're unhappy because they pursued the wrong definition of success, a description that didn't match their values. You see, it's easy for us to assume that success means obtaining a specific object, such as a job or social status, and to believe that if we get that thing, we'll be successful. But basing your success on one or two achievements is a frustrating way to live because as humans, we will always want more and are never easily satisfied. If we live that way, we'll quickly become disappointed and tempted to give up whenever we don't achieve any of our goals. Anyway, we now understand what success isn't. So, what then is it? What one definition of success matters most? Here we go. How happy are you? What do you do that makes you happy? It is the only thing that truly matters in life. Abraham Lincoln, an American statesman and lawyer who served as the 16th President of the United States, once said, In the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. You want to make more money, build a successful business and career. Whatever it is, it is what makes you happy that counts. Think of what motivates you to keep moving and putting in so much, that one thing that you desire to be successful. It could be spending time with your family and loved ones. What motivates you? What do you want to achieve for yourself and your family? What do you value most spiritually, emotionally and materially? That's what will make you happy. And if you aren't doing it, you won't be satisfied no matter how much wealth you have or not. Here's the thing, happiness isn't found in what you have or don't have. Although it is tempting to think that the reason why you are not happy is that you don't have something that you earnestly desire. But the truth is that you haven't learned to create happiness independently of what you have or don't. Thomas Jefferson, American statesman, diplomat, lawyer, architect, philosopher and founding father, who served as the third president of the United States, said, Our greatest happiness does not depend on the condition of life in which chance has placed us. 
but is always the result of good conscience, good health, occupation and freedom in all just pursuits. Again, according to Lou Holtz, a former American football player, coach and analyst, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. It means that it's not the things that happen to you that make you happy. It's how you choose to react to them. And when you understand where your happiness truly lies, you'll be surprised how successful you'll become because you won't waste your time or effort chasing the wrong things. Things that will never make you truly happy, except that they may bring you temporary satisfaction and that's it. Let me tell you a secret about finding what makes you truly happy and successful in return. Albert Einstein, a German-born theoretical physicist, said, Only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. Also, according to Rosa Parks, an American activist in the civil rights movement best known for her pivotal role in the Montgomery bus boycott, each person must live their life as a model for others. Let's go back in time to examine the people whose life and death afterwards made an impact in our lives some way or the other. Think of people whose legacies remain till date. Why do you think they became so important to our present day life, even though they are no more? It's simple. They lived their lives for others. Think of Abraham Lincoln, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa and others who are not necessarily activists but whose lives and innovations added value to humanity such as Thomas Edison, Steve Jobs, Walt Disney, etc. They all wanted to do something beneficial for people. To them, life was beyond their own lives alone. And this is where true happiness lies. For instance, you could tell a teacher who is complaining that they are not well paid to change their job and they'd respond with something like this. Oh no, I could never do that. I could never sit at a desk for 40 hours a week. I love what I do and I just don't like the pay. In the end, what they do positively influences lives, matters more to them than money and that's what success truly means. So, the definition of success that matters is how happy you are and how valuable you are to others. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.